hi namaste welcome back welcome if you're new i see the god in you yes let's tap into this i want to go right into my spiritual confirmation deck for you guys today and see what wants to come through wow you have a strong spiritual connection to the spirit realm i actually restarted this video because i was mentioning something about my brother that i just didn't feel comfortable with okay um my brother recently crossed over at least it feels new to me it was in 2022 and yeah i'm still pretty heartbroken and and strong spiritual recovery so i took that out and it's back again so this is this message is a very very serious you need to know that you have a strong spiritual connection if you've been going through anything if you have been going through a breakup if a loss any sort of grief or just simply lost your job anything you have a strong spiritual connection to the spirit realm and they they are literally sending you the angels ascended masters your crossover loved ones that love you unconditionally um, they're sending you so much love and light and positive energy right now you need to know this this came up twice i just restarted the video um someone is trying to copy your swag because they want what you have i don't know who this is this could be a monitoring monitoring spirit i really don't even like tapping into lower vibrational frequency like this because i don't believe that um i know nor efron said everything is copy and i just don't believe that my i'm a taurus but my moon is an aquarius i feel like we're meant to do something new try something new be something new create something new start everything should be new not copy some of you could be seeing 222 or 222 all right yeah i'm just saying um if somebody's copying your swag i don't think that's a compliment i think that's a hater so you got a low-key hater in the mist time for you to start re up re-up on your spiritual rituals your spiritual return to sender okay um that's coming through really strong so let's get some more spiritual confirmations because this video is already feeling like it's super lit <laughs> um i know people copy off of me all the time i i just i cut them off because i can see what you're doing Go find your own swag. I don't play that. Someone is listening to 90s music and crying over you. Okay. I'm hearing right away that this could be an ex. Someone, it just, you know, it was like right person, wrong time. But I'm also getting this as like friends also, you know, relationships and connections that just didn't work out you know you would you'd be surprised people have regrets okay a lot of bad things went down in the 90s so when this channel message came to me i was just like this is so specific you know uh, this is so deep right so yeah they're listening to 90s music that's usually like r&b or just something that happened in the 90s okay and they're crying over you let's get one more because a, a lot of messages want to come through these are spiritual confirmations if you if you've been feeling like somebody's missing you um we got another red alert you are you are free to release pain and regret from the past of the past you're free to release pain and regret of the past so somebody regrets how they treated you someone regrets and your spiritual team wants you to know, yeah, you might be seeing signs and synchronicities about this person because this person is trying to create a spiritual link with you. See, sometimes when we're seeing these uh, with these spiritual uh, confirmations, we're thinking that it's that it's a good thing. It's not a good thing when you're seeing something that reminds you of someone who caused you a lot of pain and a lot of grief in your life okay let's get some messages from this herald i'm just saying that someone's definitely trying to come back around someone's definitely trying to be in your energy and whoever this person is 
but maybe they might be coming up for you to forgive them. Yes. Yeah, you know, you're just, I'm hearing no more drama. I'm just hearing like, my life is so much better now. <laughs> okay, we got the spiritual confirmations coming through the cell phone now. All right, so I'm just saying, um, you're over it. People who like to argue, fight, especially if this was a romantic relationship, you're not putting up with that anymore. The drama, you're literally walking away from something because in your subconscious mind, you're creating a new reality. There's something new. There's something fresh in the air. There's something, there's some fire, okay? That you just feel this creative spark. And you just feel like it's time to move on. It's time to go towards something great, something wonderful, okay? <laughs> and you don't care who's crying over you because the Knight of Swords... Honestly, this Knight of Swords is leaving a situation, but it doesn't matter. It, the Knight of Swords don't give a fuck. So it's just like, really, you want to try it with me? Okay, you tried it for the last time. That's the energy that I'm getting. And I'm so proud of you. And they want you to know that you didn't lose anything. Some of you feel like you lost something here. Like you spent you wasted too much time on a situation. But I'm hearing that you didn't lose anything. Nothing was lost. It's just you're gonna you're gonna gain so much more because you have a strong connection to the spirit realm. Okay, wow, there is a, a solid ending. Okay, you literally like if you haven't done this already, I'm surprised. Okay, especially mentally. You know the swords can represent the mind. Okay, we have really strong Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Ooh, oh my gosh. Um, there was a betrayal here, for sure. I wonder if it happened in the 90s, okay? <laughs> um, or with a 90s baby. But there was, a, there was a betrayal, and this betrayal was so strong, and it hurt so deep. You literally, you felt like you knew this person. You felt like they were there for you. You felt like they could love you like no other, and they betrayed you. But guess what? It's okay. That pain, that pain is over with this new beginning, um, with this creative new beginning, this exciting new beginning with someone new because guess what whenever there's a beginning whenever you're in a, 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 a especially creativity it's someone who's going to be a match to you someone who's not going to be afraid to tell people no okay <laughs> this new beginning is crazy this new beginning is like listen i dare you I dare you try to copy my swag. I dare you try to steal my man. Somebody here try to steal your man. Try to steal your girl. However it fits. Okay. I, I, I'm hearing that very strong. And it's like, okay. Listen. You two deserve each other. Alright. I'm going to get somebody brand new. Oh my god. Why are all these swords coming through this reading for you? Now we got the king of swords. The King of Swords, oh my God. Like, why are you so serious today? I just feel like y'all are not playing games with your feelings, with your emotions. And you're not wanting to You're literally having a fight for your happiness. You're fighting for your happiness and you're winning. It's like they started this shit and now you're just finishing it because their time is up. Someone's time is up. Um, there's a strong creative. There's a strong creative sense of having control over your life, having control over decisions that you make in your life. The judgment is here. They're being judged for what they do. They're being judged for what they say to you. They're being judged. And I'm hearing off with their heads. And this is leading to a celebration. 
Like, you're just no longer going to be in the energy of lack. You're no longer going to be in the energy of feeling left out in the cold. This could be leading to marriage, a commitment, a new home. When you leave this person, when you walk away from this situation... It's time for you to go and you know it and this is your confirmation. 100%. I can't make this up. Um, for some of you, there's an emperor waiting for you. For some of you, there's an empress waiting for you. There's a king of cups. I'm hearing there's a cancer Pisces Scorpio coming towards you. Even though I haven't seen that, I'll bet you that's going to come out. What is that? Mm. <laughs> play with me that's the chariot i'm about to grab this do not play with me they're coming for you <laughs> with this chariot card babe babes they're coming towards you and they're not playing some of you could be seeing 11 11 this is your twin flame that is coming towards you this is the love of your life stop playing please stop playing Please, please, please stop playing with the universe. Please stop playing with your thoughts. Cut off whoever you need to cut off and make room for your king, okay? That's what I'm hearing. That's what's coming through because of major celebration. Especially if this is a long distance situation or you haven't seen them or things have been off between the two of you. Baby, that's an illusion. People around you got you twisted. They got you tripping. They tripping because they don't understand. Please keep it to yourself. This person's going to show up at night. It's going to be an evening surprise for some of you. However this happens, you're going to be so happy. Because this person has a lot of love to give. You know why? Because this person also has been through a lot. I can feel feel the pain that they have went through in my heart as I'm saying this. This is a creative person. This is someone who is, I'm not even going to lie, they're incredibly handsome, gorgeous, and sexy. They have a way with words, and they will have a stunning vehicle, okay? Even if it's a hoopty, you're still going to be like, <laughs> I love my man ride like at least they got a ride but i'm just saying some of you this is a flexing ass vehicle that they're gonna ride up pick you up in and sell off into the sunset and a lot of people are gonna be really happy for you but some people are not gonna be so happy for you that's why you gotta cut them off i know this better than anyone I've cut off a lot of people the past two, three years. It is what it is. And I did it with love because you know what? I don't, I don't hold any resentment. In order to get this chariot, this is a lot of discipline. You put in a lot of work. You deserve this. You deserve this love coming into your life more than anyone. You deserve this new home. You deserve this new ride. You deserve this new love. You deserve this new person. And this is what, okay, they're wanting you to know. You have a strong connection with the spirit realm. They pulled me in today and told me, hey, this was the vibe. This is the energy. Let them know this. Let them know what's going down spiritually. What's about to happen in the next three to four months? okay so if you're still watching this video trust and believe your life is about to do a complete 360 and it could be with a cancer pisces scorpio less this energy okay so let's just see could be with the gemini all right um i'm just hearing that they chose you a lot of evening energy is coming through so this could definitely happen in the evening someone's going to confess their love Someone's going to tell you how they feel. Someone's going to come through like a knight in shining armor. And because I am really picking up on that, for some of you, this could be someone that you have a child with. Maybe you had issues in the past. For some of you, this could be someone that is going to be the future father of your, your children, okay? Or mother. Take it how it resonates. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through as well. 
I just feel that this person is going to be so attentive to you or this person is so attentive and you know they care about what your thoughts are so if there is an age gap between you and this person you might feel like well this person still respects you they feel like they could learn something from you also i'm hearing that this person wants to teach your children something like stop playing with me they find your hermit molds incredibly sexy so if you are the type that doesn't have any friends, <laughs> magician energy coming through again, Sagittarius energy coming through, uh, Virgo energy. If you're the type, you don't have to be those signs, but they could be on your chart and you don't even know it because you don't know what time you were born. I'm just saying. Anyway, if you are the type that likes to stay to yourself and you don't really have friends, you don't really kick it with people like that, this person finds that so attractive. They're just like, oh, this person is a loner. And they know. They know you get a lot of attention. They feel like you're lucky you met them. Like, this is someone who's pretty cocky, all right? I'm getting some, some real cocky, confident energy coming through from this person. In fact, to the point, I definitely want to tap into um, their thoughts. Okay, so yeah, you know I'm always going to keep it real with you because this is the realest reading. Let's see what this person want to say. What they want to say. 100, 100, 100. Namaste. Okay. Um, do some exercise so you get hotter still. This person feels insecure about you. They feel like they're not ready for you. They feel like physically you're hotter than them. You're more attractive. <laughs> this person's insecure. I can't. Oh, you might think they're so hot. You might think they're so sexy. They, they don't think that about themselves. Like I said, I'm keeping it 100. Namaste. All right. So don't even play. Let's just get one more from this one because this one gets it gets down to the nitty gritty. There, they might even put off spending time with you because they feel like, mmm. Okay, they know it's time for them to come forward because it says move your ass and take the effing leap already. Move your ass and take the fucking leap already. They know they need to do that and they don't want to risk losing you so expect them to be coming through um like i said we do have this chariot here all right could be a cancer doesn't have to be because they could be a mercury cancer they could be a cancer rising you don't even know right okay um what's on the bottom of the deck wow okay this person has trust issues they don't trust you for some of you this person doesn't trust themselves okay they're playing with your heart like a grand piano um i'm, I'm also getting that they feel like you think that way like that could be a little bit of your energy um let's just see what are they gonna do what are they going to do next? Because I would like for my readings to be very clear. So, what are they actually going to do next? What's coming through? Ooh. First of all, they're going to they're gonna take you out to eat something. They might take you out for ice cream. Um, they're definitely going to do a lot of foreplay if you told them that you need some you need i don't know like i'm just hearing your needs are gonna be met with this 32 flavors the number three the number two the number five could be significant the number 32 could be significant um we do have 32 flavors this person <laughs> Um, let's just say there's going to be a lot of oral action going on. Um, I feel like they're also going to go go through something with you. Mm, you're going to see a difference in this person. What are they going to do next? I'm hearing a wine tasting also. Memories. This person, yeah, they're going to make memories with you. 
Um, the next conversation could be about the past. The, the next conversation could be about the future. They're going to talk to you. Some of you might get into an argument with them because you might disagree with them about something. And it's okay. Just remember that right now we have this full moon in Aries coming up. So you really want to be careful what you're saying at this time. You really don't want to get into any fights and arguments with the love of your life right now. Say things that you regret. Okay, but this person is going to miss you if you're going to be separate from them. They're going to miss you. They're going to miss being around you. They're going to miss your energy. They're they're going to miss talking to you, the sound of your voice, and even fighting with you. Um, For some of you, this person could send you some music, okay, that you really like. They're going to make some sort of romantic gesture that's going to make you feel truly seen and special with that memories wow again this really could be your twin flame please don't take my readings lightly because they do come true they're timeless and they're real um your vibrational match um they're gonna actually tell you and they're gonna link up with you and you're gonna feel so in sync with them and it's just going to be beautiful. They're going to make some memories with you. This could be over dinner. Um, out somewhere. But they want to spend time with you. They want to be around you. They want to be in your energy. And as I hold these cards, I'm really hearing an apology. So you could expect this person to apologize to you and show up for you. I'm hearing that, like, I just want to show up for you. I just want to be there for you. Please let me be there for you. So for some of you, yeah, this could be somebody you just, um, if, you're, if you're out and about, don't be surprised to run into the love of your life. This could also be someone new, okay? Um, wow. They're going to put you on display in some sort of way. They're going to let people know how special you are to them. Um, they might even acknowledge you as a twin flame. So I think that's amazing. If they were to say, hey, this is my twin flame. This is my soulmate. This is the person I'm meant to be with. They're going to put you on a pedestal in some sort of way. And I promise is going to make you so happy because you deserve to be seen, especially if you've been through a lot. And yeah, twin flames usually have really strong spiritual connections. They usually do. So yeah, you're not off. You're not, you're not, you're not, it's not in your head that you're connecting this type of energy. Um, but yeah, this person, what they're going to do next is let you know how deep your connection really is. Okay. And put you on a pedestal in the process. Now, let's see. What do they want to say? What do they want to say? I'm going to use my What's Up Right Now love messages deck, okay, to start. And then we'll get some more. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say? What do they feel like you need to know? What are their conscious thoughts? 100. <sighs> Namaste. What are their thoughts? What are their thoughts? Wow, my children. I love your children. So if you have children and they have children, even if you don't have children, they feel like their children would love you. They would love the children you're going to have with them. Um, if you don't have any children or you can't have children if this person has children they just want you to know like their children are gonna love you but yeah i'm really seeing a blended family coming up for who's ever watching this and there is a sense of starting over i'm hearing that coming through i never meant to hurt you so if this person hurt you in any way shape or form they never meant to hurt you and they feel like yeah no one compares to you 
Because my eyes are drawn to this spiritually. Someone is trying to copy your swag because they want what you have. They're a new person. Yeah, they 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 can't they can't fake this. They can't they can't make they can't be you. Okay, they just can't be you. Um, they can't stop thinking about you, even if they're with someone else or they try to move on. They can't. It's like yeah. Um, I blocked you because I love you. Now that was really on the side and I, I kind of wasn't going to take this. So it just tells me that this person, even if they did, hopefully they, they haven't blocked you. If that's so, then I definitely get the energy that, you know, they're listening to nineties music and crying over you because they kind of want to talk to you. Um, you might have blocked this person and this person could be saying like, do you still love me after you blocked me? But if this person blocked you, you're going to get unblocked. Okay. <laughs> so maybe someone needed to hear that message. If they blocked you, you're going to get unblocked. Let's get one more message from self Pleasure Girl. And we're going to get some more channel messages. If you want me, let them go. I feel that this person is letting go of someone in their life that is not in alignment with the spiritual energy that they have with you. Um, it's not their person. That's why you're you're going to be this queen bee because they have to let them go. And someone's trying to tell them to let you go. But that's not going down, is what I'm hearing. This reading is deep, so please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, sharing, okay? And letting me know what your intuition is telling you about this reading. But to me, it just seems like somebody's trying to convince them that you need to go. And that's not going to go down like that, okay? <laughs> Um, but if you haven't let your person go, if you have somebody, you better let that person go because this person is not going to stick around forever. You know what I'm saying? They're not. They're just not. Twin flames don't do that. So you have to be in a high, super high frequency to even attract a twin flame. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm hearing I found love in a whole place. This is not that energy um, Twin Flames meets when they are vibrating at a higher frequency, either spiritually. That is just a spiritual download from my guides, okay? So don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying you have to be a match. This person wants you to know I would do anything for you. And they literally would do anything for you. They might be leaving somebody for you because... They will do anything for you. That's just how it is. Okay? So never doubt that. Know that. This is your spiritual confirmation from the spirit realm. Okay? Especially if you guys have not been in contact with this person. You haven't talked to them. You haven't seen them. Okay? Keep your peace. Right? Um, I worry about us a lot. This person worries about you because they want to be with you. And they miss you. They're seeing signs and synchronicities about you. This is Neptunian energy. This could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. Really strong Cancer Pisces. Scorpio coming through. Let's get one more. Ooh, this person has a lot to say. <laughs> and I'm just saying too much. I'm a very jealous person. So if you had something to end with them for some of you because of their temper, twin flames are jealous. Soulmates are jealous. When you have a deep soulmate twin flame connection with someone, things can get a little crazy. Okay? They might have acted like they weren't jealous. They might have acted like they're not worried, but they're so worried. They're so jealous. And yeah. I'm just saying, this is what this person wants you to know. Whether they said that to you or not, that's how they're feeling. Okay, let's get one more and see what else do they want to say. You are so very special. So, it doesn't matter. It's like, 
there is no competition when it comes to you in their eyes. And the reason that this is happening for you is because you let go of something or someone from the past. Because you chose to be free to release some sort of pain and regret from the past. The number 21 is significant. The number three could be significant here. The number one or the number two. Yeah, you're special to them. You are incredibly special to them. In fact, um, <laughs> I love it. I love when this happens. They feel like you could be their twin flame or their soulmate. They also feel like you are their queen bee. Like, you're the one who is in charge. I love this. Just, just let that sink in for a second, okay? This is their thoughts. This is what they're going to do. This is what they're going to do. And this is their thoughts. Like, what? For me, I feel like the advice is for you to get ready. If you feel that you're not prepared for them in any way, shape, or form, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, meditate, 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 affirm, affirm, affirm. Gratitude, 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 attitude, okay? And if you have an attitude of gratitude, okay, if you're a grateful person, um, then this is this is something that's gonna blow your mind because to have this yin and yang energy be in alignment, it just says, and I'm also hearing Leo energy coming through. So some of you could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo. Um, this is so divine. And they're going to let you know exactly how special you are. So... If you've been seeing these signs and synchronicities, if you believe this message is true, just say thank you so much to the universe for sending me the love of my life. Write that and make it real. Thank you, universe, for sending me everything I desire in my life. Okay? Because you can't have both. That's the wave. That's the vibe. Thanks again for watching. Namaste. I'll see you in the next reading. Until then, peace and love.